But let's check out the final instalment of our trip to Malaysia. It's been good being able to take Simon and Danny out today. I'm sure they've got a bit of an education. They've got a few leech bites. They've actually seen how tough it can be or easy, depending on your vehicle. The waterfalls that Danny and Simon have visited, pretty typical of what we generally try to get to. We try and camp beside a river or beside a waterfall. If you're lucky, there's two waterfalls very close. It's just something we like to be beside. No use going to a campsite where there's no water. So that's just crazy. We also got to remember, we've got to camp way above the waterline. Some bad things do happen here when the water comes up very, very quickly. We're talking a metre in maybe 10 or 15 minutes, if you're not careful. The rest of the terrain here is pretty normal for Malaysia. What we've seen today is typical of what we would see everywhere else in Malaysia, apart from, say, Johor, which generally tends to be very flat. As Simon and Danny have seen today, what we try to do is we make sure rubbish in, rubbish out. Everything we bring in comes back out. The one thing you will see here is we're trying to push the use of tree straps. There's a lot of trees damaged here from wire ropes just being wrapped around the tree. That's slowly, slowly being stamped out. But it's very hard. You go to campsites, generally they're a little bit messy, but a lot of guys are now changing and taking their rubbish out. Probably where Australia was about 10, 15 years ago, we're starting to try and look after the environment more. We've done about 10 kilometres and it's taken us about eight hours. <laughs> Today it's been pretty tough actually. Normally we come out here once a month, once every two months, depending on how many of us want to come out, who's free. It's generally this type of truck or the short wheelbase Suzuki's, Land Cruisers. The longer wheelbase vehicles like my Troopy do struggle in here but we get them through. They all have to have 33, 34, 35 inch Cymex tyres on, unless it's dry, when it's dry anybody can make it. But once it's been raining and the Volvo axle boys have been through with the portal axles and the 1J, 2J engines, forget it, you need a big strong winch, big strong diesels, otherwise you're not going to make it. Simple as that, you'll break a winch cable or two winch cables. For those of you who have never been out here, I think Simon and Danny have also learnt how tough the jungle is on our trucks. We have constantly been bashed by bamboo, rattan, branches, everything else. If you want your truck immaculate, leave it in the car park. Don't bring it out here, because it's definitely going to get dented, as you can see from mine. It's been really good having Simon and Danny here. I kind of hope they're going to come back and spend a little bit longer in the jungle with us so we can take them further out. Maybe we can take them to some of the more remote waterfalls or up towards elephant country or where the black panthers or the giant striped pussycat is. That could be pretty cool. Or even black panther country would be pretty good. Maybe three or four day trip for them. So I hope they've enjoyed their sample of Malaysia jungle. As you can see, I am dressed for the bush, or I was. This t-shirt was brand new, clean on this morning, and I mean brand new. I guess it'll wash out, I don't know. Maybe I'll just throw it away. But that's generally the state we come out of the jungle with. Filthy pants, filthy shirt. Actually, I'm pretty clean today, so there's no oil on me. <laughs> but that's the way it is, folks. Mud. And more mud. Yeah.